Hi guys, welcome back to Super Mom TV, the channel that brings you the best tips, strategies and tools for building your profitable online business. So if you are new here, do consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell so that you won't miss any of my future videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I fulfill all the job servicing orders that I receive. So lately, I've been receiving a lot of questions on how do you do order fulfillment once you receive payment. So today, I'll bring you step by step on how I do my order fulfillment. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to include how I fulfill the order for most of my video editing services. So right now, I'm on my uh, computer and I'm showing you my screen. So I'll show you exactly how I do it step by step uh, from the time that the inquiry of my customer. So my client uh, wanted to do a video editing and he needs to send the files for me to have a look first. This is before receiving payment, okay? So it's up to you because video editing service, I feel that I need to check their clips first. So what I do is I will ask my client to transfer the files that they want me to edit. So right here, I have received the files are all in the Google Drive. Once I open a drive, it's going to be a lot of uh, small little clips, okay? Small little clips that I need to help to combine it and make it into a video. For this client, their requirement is to do a short video of less than one minute. So max, max is going to be uh, one minute. So this is the Google Drive. It's up to your client how they want to send it to you. So uh, if they, they are comfortable, they can use Dropbox or they can, in this case, my client actually sent me through Google Drive. So each time when I receive the requirements plus the files, I will straight away go to my freelancer and ask if they are able to do the job. So if they say yes and, and also they will give us a timeline, I will feedback to my client. Once your client is agreeable, you can now prompt for the payment. So right now, yes, you can see my client already transferred the money to me and made an offer. So the next step is you need to ask your freelancer to start work. So what you need to do now is just to transfer the files to your freelancer. At this point of time, you can pay your freelancer. So right now, my freelancer have completed the job. What I need to do is just download the file and check the file before forwarding it to my client. So make sure that you double check the file, double check on the job if they have done a good job, right? So after checking and everything is okay, then the next step is uh, to transfer the files to my client. I like to use this website to upload the files. So it's called vtransfer.com. You can upload your files up to 2 gig, so it's, it's good enough because my file is pretty small. Uh, and there's definitely less than 2 gig. Okay, right now I just need to add a files, and I've already saved my file on my desktop. Okay, so this is um, just this is just an example. Okay, I I, I will forward the uh, edited video files to my client. So as you can see here, the file is 9 meg, okay, and just need to click get a link. Pretty fast, then you are done. And you just need to get a link, just copy the link. So you just need to paste the link or for your client. Okay, just paste the link here and press send, okay? I have already included this link, uh, download link for my client. So he will just need to open up the file and check everything is okay. If it's okay, then I will just ask for a review and that's it. Your job is done. So this is exactly how I fulfill the order for my job servicing business. And this one involves video files, okay? So this is the video editing services that I offer to my client. If you have other services, example, logo design, you can use the same way. It's just that uh, your finished product will be in an image form. So your file will be smaller and it is probably PNG file or JPEG files, right? You can use the same uh, vtransfer.com to transfer your files. You just get the link, a download link from vtransfer and send it to your client. So this is as simple as that. Sometimes your freelancer will also give you a download link. After checking the job, you can copy the same link and pass it to your client. So my recent episodes are going to be all about answering questions that have been submitted to me through my job servicing mastery telegram channel. So if you have not joined me yet, I will leave a link for you to join my telegram channel down in the description box below. On the channel, you'll be updated on all my latest information about job servicing and I will be sharing with you more on my tips and strategies on how you can build your very own profitable job servicing 
servicing business. So that's all for my video today. I hope you have learned something new and applied to your job servicing business. Keep all your questions coming in. I will try my best to answer them as much as possible. And I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.